What's up, guys? It's Rain Michael from AchievementHunter.com, Resident Evil 2 Revelations. Blah. Who needs fire and line them up? Almost uh, fumbled my words you're there. You're good, Ray. Yeah, so at the Don't end of uh, Claire's oh. campaign, you're going to solve this simple puzzle where you find a gear. Once again, you have a map, and the map will show you pretty much where everything is. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get to this area where you kind of have to hold off a shitload of zombies. And you're going to see this big, like, device, that fucking death sphere in the middle. And you right. pretty much have to do it with, uh, you have to survive without using it. So the first thing you want to do is pick Barry's daughter, whatever her name is, Mora, Myra, whatever. You she said sucks. it was Mora based I, on the last video because I sang that Britney Spears song. You did. Yeah, I don't remember what her name is. Oh, okay. But uh, you want to switch to her because she needs to use the crowbar on this door. And okay. you pretty much have to defend her while she does that because she's uh, she's useless. So what does that thing in the middle do? It shoots like a like a, uh, it's like a flamethrower. Oh. It's like right down the hallway. But if you saved up enough uh, shotgun ammo and pistol ammo and you're playing on casual like a bitch like I am, it shouldn't be too hard. So the main thing is just uh, use your shotgun on these bigger guys. And pick off the smaller zombies in the back with a, uh, a shotgun, or excuse me, a pistol. And just hang out here for the most part. If you have any more fire bottles, feel free to uh, just throw them. And She's taking her time with that door. Yeah, it takes forever. It's like one piece of wood and she has a crowbar. Yeah, so I'm just it. hanging out here. And if you're doing it, uh, I learned that this is uh, local co-op only, but the raid mode, you remember like the RPG style, like right. level up your guns, that's online. Mm. And so eventually she'll finish weird. like 10 minutes later. Oh, there and you then go. just open it and uh, make your way out. And then once you uh, open this door that's apparently very heavy, ignoring all the zombies behind you, you will get your achievement. Come on, ladies, you can do it. There you go. Proud of you. Yeah, girl this, power. Yeah, eventually. Is that the uh, name of the achievement? It, it's not. It should have been. It should be. Uh, it's 30 gamer score, 20 gamer score. I lied. Who needs fire? And Who needs men? Escape from the detention center in Claire's episode one without using the flamethrower bust. It was a bust. There you go. So here we uh, we got Natalia here. Who the fuck is this? This is some little girl you find as Barry. And this is oh. all the way in the beginning of Barry's campaign. Once you find her, they're teaching you about the Barry. stealth here. There's Barry. So this achievement is to kill two uh, zombies with one shot. So once you stealth kill that zombie, stay crouched. Slowly make your way around this corner. Take out his, uh, what's the name of it? The Magnum, the not the assault rifle, the Magnum Python. Oh, yeah. And you just want to wait till this zombie just lines up conveniently. I'm not sure if you can do this anywhere else in the campaign. Two for one. But uh, it's very easy to do it here. It's like this area was made for that achievement. Right, make sure, you, make sure you miss that shot because that's and important. Just panic pause. Just, just game. panic pause. End the video. It's very, it. it's very important for an Easter egg <laughs> later on that it will not be showing. But line them up, defeat two enemies with one shot in the main campaign. Uh, there you go. You were almost a Ray sandwich.